Just recently, I was te I'm teaching a class of about 100 undergrads, and we were talking about sleep, and I asked how many of them um, feel that they're not getting enough sleep, and literally everyone raised their hand. I think eight hours is really good. It's re like really needed when I get eight hours at least. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, I can take on the day. I think college students should get around eight to 10 hours of sleep each night. Um, well, when you're considering like assignments that need to be done, or most college students are working, uh, just to be able to function during the day when you wake up, I would say at least seven to eight hours. I mean, ideally, for what amount of work we do, I feel like we need maybe 10 hours, but I know people can't sacrifice that much time. So I say seven hours, seven to eight hours at like a minimum. Well, students, just like most people, should be getting uh, somewhere between like around seven to eight, usually not more than nine, not less than six. I'll either have, it really depends on what I have to do the next day. If I have an exam, I will get three hours of sleep. But if I don't have class the next day, I'll get like eight or nine hours of sleep. On a usual day, I get around four to five hours of sleep. Um, I would say on average, anywhere from six hours of sleep to eight hours of sleep. Only 13. This semester I am taking 12 hours. I am taking 12 hours a semester. I think staying up um, late to study is worth it, but I also do believe that sleeping is a priority and it resets your brain, resets your body, and that will get you set for the next day. But staying up late to get grades is worth it to me. So I know that I need to get a good night's sleep, but I know that's not always possible, mostly because I procrastinate on studying. But I know you, also, you should also revise the information right before you go to bed. That way your brain processes it a little bit better. I usually just go to sleep. I actually don't, if there's a test tomorrow, I won't study for it. The day of, I won't cram it that night. Because I figure if I don't know it now, the day before the test, the day on the test, I'm not going to know when the test hits. And I'm just stressing myself out. Our immune system starts to become compromised. It becomes much more um, easy for us to get sick through things like a cold or um, flu, things like that when we're sleep deprived and we're likely to get sick. Um, <clears throat> it's harder for us to think, so we have cognitive impairment. So in particular, if you're a student, um, that can be really problematic. So all-nighters are not a good idea. They don't, and, and research supports this, it doesn't lead to higher grades. It can also make um, things like uh, anxiety and depression worse. In particular, depression um, it can just be such a drain on us. It's hard to find this joy in life. It's hard to enjoy things when you're just sort of dragging yourself through every day. My nightly routine kind of just depends on um, how tired I am. So if I'm really needing to relax, I'll go ahead and light a candle right before bed. and. Um, I'll put on some music and I'll lay down and just pray and then I'll, I'll knock out. <laughs> so before I go to bed, every night I, uh, I work out. I do like a hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred crunches, and I run to place for about 10 minutes, like the little sprints. And then I take a shower, and then, uh, and then after I take a shower, I brush my teeth, uh, I get my bed ready for bed, then I go and use the restroom, and then I like, drink water or warm milk, whatever you guys want, whatever you want. Uh, then I'll uh, usually get in the bed to try to go to sleep. Uh, I'll scroll on my phone on social media for about 30 minutes or so, just kind of catch it up with everything. And then um, eventually I just turn it off and I go to sleep. I roll to one side, then I roll to the other side. I basically just keep trying to get comfortable until eventually I just get knocked out. Cobble together six hours of sleep, even if it's not continuous, in a situation like that where you just can't avoid it. Continuous sleep is the best. But if you just can't avoid it, then um, that is better than just saying like, oh well, no sleep for me.